I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ashanti, if you're new here, before we get started, you already know what I'm gonna say, you already know what I'm gonna do. Join the squad, join the family, okay? Today's vlog is day three. Today, we're going out, we're gonna do... So, okay, let me, let me tell you. So I've been really thinking about my next business venture, and I think I've decided what it is. Um, I think I've decided to, no, I know I've decided to start a body care company with like body butter, scrubs, oils, body oils, all that stuff like that because I spent a lot of money on that stuff. I spent a lot of money on that stuff and um, I have been exploring natural things, natural alternatives to Bath and Body Works for a while now and so I figure, you know, it's something that I can do at home and it's, it's, it is a passion of mine. So it's a passion project and um, I wanted to start my journey of figuring out my recipes or solidifying my recipes. So in order to do that before I start ordering bulk product because like I have a whole like online cart of like over a thousand dollars worth of product and um, equipment and stuff, I need a couple things to try to just get my formula down as a sample get the samples done and and then move on from there because i want to do um as my rollout my first rollout i want to do lip scrubs excuse me lip scrubs body butters and a foaming body scrub that's going to be my first rollout it's going to be like a a package deal um or you can buy them individually but yeah because a lot of you guys follow me before my skincare journey um whether it's my face but i have like a lot of issues with my with my body as far as being having extremely dry skin um exfoliating my feet i have a lot of issues with my feet although i keep my feet done um in between my pedicures i always like have to um i find myself using different kind of products or creating different like regiments for my feet to keep them nice and smooth so i'm going to share all that with you guys over the next like month but i think it would be fun to to have you guys tag along with me while I try to kind of just get my samples and stuff together. So we're going to Hobby Lobby and we're going to the Dollar Tree to get a couple of supplies as well as I need to go by the mall to the jewelry repair place to have my ankle chain um, fixed because yeah, it is definitely, it broke last night in my sleep and I don't know I don't know how I did that, but I broke it in my sleep, so I have to go get that fixed. Then I might have time to go thrifting, but I don't know because I want to get this vlog up by six o'clock today. That is my goal. It's 12:42 now, so let's get the day started. Vlogmas day three. Okay, y'all. Vlogging in public is very, 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 very awkward. But I'm gonna go ahead and vlog to get you guys the content. Okay, I'm committed. Because I see a lot of people complain about YouTubers and how, like, we'll say we're going somewhere and then we don't show you where we're going. <laughs> Ooh, I hope it didn't lock myself up. Okay, no idea. So, um, I'm at the beauty supply store. This one, like, if you're ever in the Atlanta, they have multiple locations, but this one, if you're ever in Atlanta, like, has everything, everything you need. And so, um, I'm actually gonna go in here for some um skincare products Ooh. i'm gonna go here and get some um like my shea butters and stuff from out of here I'm get my cart. I'm get these little tiny tiny little carts but they have a whole all right y'all so i completely forgot that um these stores play all this loud music in there so i definitely was about to get copyright so this portion is going to be a voiceover i'm just going to tell you exactly what i was doing over here i was on this part of the store i was just showing you guys like they had so much um shea butter they had yellow shea butter white shea butter um they had whipped shea butter they had liquid shea butter they had every shea butter you could think of in this section um, some of these were like broken up and at first I picked the one that was broken, but then I saw, I ended up seeing one that was like, ended up seeing one that was solid. So I ended up getting that one. They had ones with like tea tree in it. They had, they had all different kinds of, of shea butter 
And I really thought that that was all they had there. Here is where I picked up the part, the one that was solid and I was just showing you like that one solid. So I put the broken one back. And then I continued to go through the store and when I walked around the corner, they had a whole body section, not just shea butter. It's all like, it's more shea butter, but like they had like everything. They had body butters, they had oils, they had soaps, they had black soap, they had clay mask they had bentonite clay which i did pick up because i was thinking that it would be pretty good in a um, body scrub they had african black soap but i had decided to not get that um because i just i hadn't decided i have to do more research but yeah this is what i got okay now i'm at hobby lobby and hobby lobby had everything you could think of when it comes to um soap making products um they have this whole wall full of things uh, they have little soap sprinkles they had the colors the powder colors they had scrapers they had glitter they had um different soap bases they had They had vegetable glycerin in here. They had all the oils that you could think of, rose water. Um, they had beakers and stuff, but I didn't buy all this stuff from here. I bought a few things, but yeah, this is what I got. I'll do a haul when I get home. Hey y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to take y'all out with me, but all of the stores were playing Christmas music, like loud. So let me recap what I've done. Let me put you up here. Oh, by the way, my top is from Shein. My pants are from um, Forever 21. I did a haul on these before. And then, oh, excuse me, Sushi. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then I just have these, uh, what's these things called? Van Vans on. And I had a leather jacket. But um, I went to the beauty supply store and I got a lot, quite a bit of things. I pretty much got everything I needed to start my sampling process. I don't want to to order on Amazon, but I'm okay with what I got. I had some of this, but I don't know where it's at. So I got some bentonite clay. Um, I got some jojoba oil. I got a bunch of oils. I got, oh my God. I got some rose oil, vitamin E oil. And I also got some white shea butter. And I also got some peppermint oil. That's what I got from there. Also went to Hobby Lobby. And um, I got some citric acid. This is for bath bombs. I got some Castile soap base. Okay, so after all the research that I did, y'all, um, I want to do foaming body but foaming body scrubs but i did not want them to be whipped i want them to still be you know kind of watery but i don't want them to be whipped so after doing a bunch of research um i decided to go with the soap base so i'm just gonna add this to the scrubs that i make today um i got two of these little containers they're not really clear clear which i just needed something to put the samples in for right now uh, I'm ordering like real packaging and stuff. Um, they have some cornflower petals that I'm gonna add to one of them. Uh, they also had some peppermint leaves, and I think I'm gonna use these for my foot scrub. That's what I think I'm gonna make a foot scrub today. And um, Ylang Ylang essential oils. I heard it smells really good, so I want to smell that. And then I got some colors for coloring soaps and stuff and then i got a little bit of glitter for if i decide to make like put some gold in the body butter but i think tonight so that i can get this vlog up i'm probably just gonna do scrubs a scrub today i'm gonna show you like a basic scrub recipe and then um i'll show you how a basic body butter recipe tomorrow because that's gonna take more time way more time than i have i also went to walmart 
things. I didn't have time to go to. I know I could have got a lot of the stuff from the Dollar Store, especially the Dollar Tree. But I just got a couple mixing bowls, some uh, spatulas, so that I don't have to use my cooking stuff, my actual cooking stuff. And I got some new measuring uh, things. And I also got some Epsom salt, which is gonna be a key ingredient in my scrub. So I'm about to make a scrub. I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then we'll close the vlog out for the day, okay? So I have my little notebook here of all the research that I've done. Um, I know basically how I want my scrubs to be. So I'm about to sanitize my surface, clean these um, bowls out, and I'm gonna do a sugar scrub today. That's what I'm about to do. Okay, y'all, I might time lapse that, but I will say I just washed my hands with this and I literally don't feel like I need any kind of lotion after. We're about to go try this on my feet though. Let's go upstairs real quick and try it on my feet. See how we like it. Yeah, but as far as like the consistency, I like the consistency. I don't know if I'm gonna go completely with the um, honey but um, I do like how my hands feel right now. My hands feel incredible right now. So let's go get in my tub and see. Let me get a before and after of my feet because my feet have been in my uh, vans all day. So I probably do have a little bit of crust. All right, so we're in my bathroom. And as you can see, I just took my shoes off. So I have a lot of crust right here on the back of my heels. And on the sides, this is where they do that thing, you know, where they get the dead skin off your feet at the... Let me show you guys the back of my feet. Okay. I, I think you can see like right here where my foot is dry. My goal with my, my scrub is to be able to get that off and leave it feeling moisturized or looking moisturized. So let's try to see if we've accomplished that with the scrub.
let's see. Okay, so the moisturization is there for sure. Like, my feet feel hella soft. However, I don't think the exfoliant is there enough. I think it needs more Epsom salt. I want you to be able to use this without a pumice stone. Because right now I feel like if I would have used a pumice stone, this would have been like crazy gone. Let me show you. They do feel better. Very moisturized. Very, very moisturized. Like crazy soft. Like butter soft. So the moisturization is definitely there, but I think I need to add more Epsom salt, like more Epsom salt than sugar because of what, because of what I'm looking for. Like I'm looking for way more exfoliation without having to use an actual um, pumice stone. And I don't know if I like the smell of that. It smells like hair grease. <laughs> like that Ylang Ylang, I think, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna skip that. But the way it feels, as far as oils go, on site, on point, everything. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board with that. And you know, maybe we'll make this a little mini series or something. Like this will definitely be part of my vlogmas. Um, you know, just trying to come up with the perfect recipe for my skincare brand. All right, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to edit and hopefully get this uploaded tonight. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!